we doing? We'll just talk about the effort of all that defensive being getting guys over here on Sunday and playing significant snaps and just urge your guys to step up. And I know the points are what the points are, but you create some turnovers, made some key stops, just the effort to go both that side. Yeah, no, it's exciting for everyone. Miles, Jonah, you know, they just came in on Monday, so hats off to them. But it's a, uh, it's a great, it's a great feeling knowing what we can do with the people we had today, and uh, just overcome a win like that is insane. And that's a hats off to us because next man up, you know, and it's a great feeling. What was the story behind? I think you were pregame captain, right? Yes. What was the significance? Oh, every week someone gets picked as captain, and it was my so turn. Up there, up there. Yeah, so it was awesome. You mentioned some of the new guys that are here. What was that like to have guys who show up on Sunday and play on Thursday? You know, can you talk about that challenge and what the players do to try to acclimate from that message? Yeah, it's always a hard challenge, especially coming from a different team, different style. But AG, T, Cam. Uh, they implemented a good game plan, make it simple for people, just basically line up and play ball, put the ball down and go. So we thank them for doing that, and it showed. I mean, people getting off, doing their thing. And what about this offense? You know, four touchdown drives, seven yards, 10 plus plays. Obviously, they're at the end. This was a game they knew they kind of had to step up. Just talk about that, that performance on the offensive side. Yeah, I mean, when in doubt, they're, they're going to figure it out. So. Uh, we love when they're out there doing their thing. You know, JG leading charge, offensive line, everybody. So we love when they're doing that. And we usually, we don't bat an eye for them. You know, we have the utmost confidence in them. And we never get worried. We found your place on this team. Um, got announced to start today. Just how did that feel to run out of the tunnel to the last year? Honestly, I never thought I was going to do that, especially <laughs> how far I am in my career. And to have the opportunity like that is so nice. And I never thought about ever doing that. I always think when you see Hutch come out, it's probably the coolest thing ever. And to actually experience that for the first time is uh, basically a dream. So, so excited. I thank AGT, Cam, Coach Campbell for giving me the opportunity to go do this. Because I never played as many snaps as I did today, especially my whole tenure in Tampa. So for them to have the confidence in me to go out there and do do what I do, and I'm just so appreciative of them. What does it mean to make the playoffs? I know you guys have bigger goals, but the way they clinch it is the spot in the playoffs. How many goals that? It's always a good good feeling, but take one game at a time and just keep stacking. And it's going to be exciting to get these next few days off and then roll into next week. Do you know how many, do you know, do you know, sorry, do you know how many snaps you can play? No, I, I have I'm no idea. Kidding. Not yet, I have no idea. What's the most yet? Whew. Probably depends if you combine special teams and defense, but I think I played like 19 before. I definitely got more than that. There was a drive that was long. Felt it, <laughs> but <laughs> it's all right. It happens. Can you, talk, can you talk about the challenge of playing by the nose tackle? You know, it's not something that You've played a ton of in, in your professional career. Yes. Yeah. Um, how, how unique of a challenge is that? And, and I guess why do you think they kind of picked you to fill in in that spot? I mean, it's a tough job. You got to be you got to be a grinder in there, especially if you just watch DJ. You know, he's makes a lot of money doing what he does. He's done it for a long time, and being able to work with him every day and watch him kind of play, try to emulate how he plays, and he's got to hang in there sometimes. Hang in there. <laughs> These, uh, these last two meetings between you and the Packers have been really chippy. Can you just describe the intensity uh, on the trenches today? Yeah, it's always it's always chippy, especially for offensive defensive line, and then especially a divisional opponent like the Packers. So I mean, every we're grown men out there just slugging each other all day long. So especially that it's going to get chippy, but it was not crazy today. Something about the Eastern Michigan band playing. At oh yeah, you run out of starters. I was geeked up about that. I saw him at. Yeah, uh, love them, man. You know they were always our huge, our biggest supporters, especially when I was there. So we always have the most respect for them. They appreciate what they do. I saw you throughout the game, and, um, you know, trying to fire up the crowd and, and doing all mm -hmm. that stuff. How important is it to you to kind of be that emotional tone setter for that defense? 
I think, I mean, it doesn't take much to show emotion. And I just always, I think that's awesome whenever you do that. You just hear the crowd, and then you see everyone else around you start doing it. And it just gets everyone's juice going before the play even starts. So just like little things like that kind of help you, you know, get you mentally prepared to snap into the play. So, yeah. Cool. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you, guys. Enjoy. Appreciate you. Um, two touchdown game for you tonight. First time, do you know since when? <laughs> I'll tell you, it was 2020, and that was just your second one. Was that part of the game plan? Was there something you guys saw to be able to to get you in there, and both in the red zone, both on touchdowns? Just talk about your your success tonight with Jared. You said a lot of words. Right? I know, <laughs> a lot of words. Uh, the game plan was to win, and that's what we did. Yeah. Obviously. Um, and it just felt my way to it. Like we, we, we won in so many different ways, and we just showed tonight there was, there's another way to win. And all I gotta do is get thanks to the line, Benji, our receivers, because those other two guys, other four guys, actually, they get so much attention. I got one on ones, and all I gotta do is win. So that was part of the key to exploit that coverage. But also, just talk about the way you guys can beat teams in so many different ways. Street fight, slug fest, and with a little bit of, you know, razzle dazzle, duck and weave. How important is it that this team continues to do that and that you can adjust at any minute to do that? It's super important. Uh, like, we have a bigger goal here, and just to go out there each and every week and show that we can win in so many different ways, it, it makes it hard on other defenses when they try to game plan against us because we could beat them in so, so many different ways. Can you believe your journey from, you could have made a, a bunch of different decisions, but here you are after a two touchdown game? Uh, yeah, uh, the journey was long, but it was worth it. It made me the man I am today, and it brought me here to Detroit. Uh, I've won the most games I've won in my career. Uh, I just had a two touchdown performance on Thursday night football. I got looked like 30, 30 reporters in front of me right now. I, I'm just, a, I'm very blessed. Bless and thankful for this team. Honestly. Tim, is there a point tonight where you knew you were feeling it? You maybe have a few more catches than usual. Just the chemistry was clicking overtime. Uh, no, nah, it was just that's usually how the game go. Honestly, you never know how it's gonna go. We sometimes we come out fire, sometimes we don't. And in the second half, it just fell my way, and I'm very thankful for it. That second celebration was that a nod to a Lambo leap at all? I seen a sign during warmups, and they kept saying, "Come to it, come to it." And I was very confident for some reason. I was like, yeah, I got y'all. And it ended up happening, so, yeah. <laughs> Find a way to win, and this win, you clinched a playoff spot. Yeah, it was big. A big win for us. Um, we knew it was going to be a tough battle. Uh, it's always a tough battle against against these guys, and especially in the division. So, um, you know, we're down some players, but that's not an excuse, and we found a way to, to come out on top. I mean, especially your defense. I mean, the way... You, half that defense is injured, and the way they came out and played and were able to, you know, get you guys a ball back and get the stops that they needed for you guys, for the offense, yeah. obviously. They played great. Uh, hats off to them. Um, they balled out all game, um, whether it was, you know, first half, I think they only had like 20-some 20, 20 yards passing, and then second half, you know, they, they played just well enough for us to go down and, you know, get that, that last field goal. here every week with different problems, different, you know, an injury here, an injury there, but the Detroit Lions continue to win. Yeah, I think we're a resilient group. we got guys in, on the team that, um, you know, next man up mentality that we've been kind of dealing with all year, unfortunately, but it's a chance for guys to make plays come in, and um, whether it's guys that have been here, guys that we sign, you know, off the streets, whatever it is, but guys have, have made plays and stepped up and can't ask for more. And got some more players here to get some bodies in. And can you talk about Tim Patrick and his role tonight? Yeah, he's he's awesome. He's been awesome all year. Um, whether it's in the run game, in the pass game, he you know he's smart. He knows all the plays. Um, selfless, big, strong, strong guy. Can make all the catches. Um, I mean, he's we're, we're we're happy to have him here. Could you just talk about? Dan and fourth and inches and going for it and y you know you're gonna go for it right? Yeah, we knew we knew all game we were gonna go for it. It was for, if it was anything fourth and close. Um, that last one I didn't know if we were gonna go for it or not. Um, but you know once he said we're what staying were you on. Thinking when I mean it, either way I feel like you, you can't really lose either you kick it and go for three. Actually I mean if you kick and go for three there then they have some time to, to try to come back and either tired or win it. But we put the pressure on the offense which which we love and. Demo and the guys up front 
they went and got it done. But that's the way this team is. You guys just find a way, especially this season, find a way to win. Like even Goff tripping and handing it to Montgomery and getting the first down. I mean, yeah, it was crazy. I mean, when I saw him trip, I kind of, I think my heart skipped a beat. But um, he was able to get it off to Demo and, like I said, <clears throat> let the O line and him do the rest. To get this job done uh, against the Green Bay team, I'm sorry I'm coming in late. If you answered already, I'm around. But there was a lot of talk. This is a team that's won games. The satisfaction level after beating this team is where for you? Uh, it's super high. Um, you know, it was a back and forth game all game. They're a good team, um, but to beat them, it's always a little sweeter. Your journal it, will be long. There's a lot of games of NFL wins, NFL losses. What will stand out to this one throughout your career as you look back at it? You think? Uh, this was just a, I mean, one of those games I feel like that was back and forth. You never really knew what was going to happen, offense or defense wise. Um, whether it's us going through it now or us going down 12, 13 plays and scoring, go for it on fourth down, um, going for it at the end on fourth down. Just a crazy game back and forth, but it was, um, you know, I wouldn't want to do without any other guys in the guys' in this locker room. Was it chippier than usual out there? Um, maybe a little chippier, but I feel like, you know, division games are always chippy, especially against those guys. Thank you. What, what is it about Patrick that makes him special? He's a great player. Um, you know, he's smart, understands all the plays. Um, when he, you know, this is only his... He's only been here for, what, 13, 14 weeks, and our playbook isn't the easiest, but he's smart, um, runs great routes, strong hands, big body, um, can super physical in the run game. You know, we ask our receivers to do a lot in the run game, and he's, you know, one of our best blockers. So he's stepped right in and, and been a great addition for us. So just as his teammate, like, how, how satisfying is it for you to watch him have a moment like this? Obviously a guy who has been through a lot over the past three, four years, injuries. To, to come back like, <clears> on a stage like this and, and have the game that he has, just, how, how much pleasure does he give you as, as, as a teammate of his? I'm super excited for him. He deserves everything. Uh, he's worked so hard for this. This is not the end, though. He's, you know, he's still going. We're still going, but... You know, I'm glad he finally kind of got his moment and not just one touchdown, but two touchdowns. So I know how much it means to him, especially after what he's gone through um, with the injuries and everything. Um, came here, got something fresh, new start, and he's been awesome for us. We're so happy to have him. Um, I mean, shoot, I don't know if we win this game without him. Air practice each and every week and how we prepare for every opponent. You, you, you quickly understand that. It's intense here, and there's no games we played, no mistakes are tolerated really, so you know you have to be on your A game, not even just for the game, but for practice every week, so it's big. I was going to say, you mentioned the culture, the standard, like how quickly did you sense that, and I guess how, how did you sense it? How did it, how did it dawn on you? I'm going to say probably the first, the first week of practice I got here, I'm like, okay, this is different from many of, probably every organization, like it's intense. Um, very attention to detail and you really have to prepare for every practice here like a game really which and it shows when the games come and even if there's new guys out there like standard is standard so did the up downs catch you by surprise <laughs> in that first practice yeah <laughs> I feel like I had known about it in the back of my head but like I'm getting here I'm trying to get used to everything I'm like oh those up downs and you don't know when you're doing them like it's before practice too so I'm like it's it's unique but like you kind of love it because it's like okay this it it instills something into you like you're like okay this team's different and you feel it like you feel it just walking out to practice so yeah that was big appreciated that <laughs> made me better <laughs> I've heard some guys say before that, like, you know, it takes them a little bit to, like, feel like a lion, like, mm -hmm. part of all this. Do you feel like you're, you're part of it? Yeah, yeah, I definitely do. Would it, I think this fifth game here or something? So five and oh, I mean, <laughs> doesn't get much better than that. But, yeah, I definitely feel a part of this team. And I feel like they've accepted me, um, allow me to play to my strengths and put me in critical situations. They trusted me with that. So I'm grateful for that and happy to be able to do my job to the best of my ability. The dog, man, because we wanted him more. Did you have anything bigger? I mean, you know, like that's to go for it on fourth down there. Like we trust him, man. You know, he, he our leader. We trust him. We trust his judgment, and he was able to come out successful. Sorry, I walked up late. If you've been asked this, a couple of the guys talked about maybe feeling a sense of disrespect. Do you feel like you guys are uh, a group that can quite be quite outside noise? We don't worry about all that, mm -hmm. you know, because at the end of the day, you know, all, all that's that's pretend, man. You know, and. Like, you know, I, I know, you know, I got a lot of guys in the room that that got that, got that, you know, man. You know, you know that 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 dog mentality, and 
All that media that they can't help you once you once you strap the cleats on and, and go out there and play. You know, uh, you know, certain guys do that just to kind of help their confidence. We don't we don't need that. We walk in the building confident. So what, what, like so what did the defense prove then today? Oh, uh, think about it, man. We 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 still feel like yes, we we happy we came out with the win and defense came you know came together in critical situations. But we still got a lot of work to do, man. Thirty one, you know, 30, how many points they had? Twenty eight, thirty one. We still feel like, especially going against them, that's that's too much points, you know. But we're gonna live with it, man. Get in the get in the film room, continue stacking those days, man. Getting getting all better. Did you feel like this was a get right game for the secondary? I don't. I, I don't really. I don't really think so. Them, those guys didn't really do too much, man. You know, they they got a couple. You know, they got a couple couple of lucky plays. You know, because of our our mistakes that we'll fix, you know, just in case we see them again. You know, we we definitely wouldn't, not going to give them 28 points or 31 points or however, however many points they had. Did you guys blitz more or plan to blitz more than you have? I can't really, I can't really, I can't really speak on the game plan, man. I can't really speak on the game plan. AG's going to come up with a great game plan and we just going to try to go out there and execute it. As a defensive player, how do you feel about when your head coach does so many gambles on offense? Like I said before, man, we, we trust his judgment. We trust his judgment because, like, he's trying to, he's going to run through a wall for us. We're going to run through a wall for him. So if he go for it, you know, and if we don't get it, defense is going to go out there and try to get the ball back. And if he get it, then, then we live with it. What is it like rolling Bates out there and knowing it's pretty much automatic? Man, when I saw JG slide and, and, and Bates and, and the ball was snapped, I probably was the first one, the first one in the uh, tunnel. I already knew it was going in. See, you know, I, uh, I, you know, I told him, beat the traffic, man. I already, I already knew it was going in. <laughs> Before the game, uh, Terry on and Kirby got into it with their tight end. Did you hear the, this comments about wanting to get his hands on Kirby and, and talking like that? And did you see the, the video before the game? Uh, the matter. two guys getting after it. That don't matter. That, you can't you like that don't matter. What did he do tonight? What he got a touchdown tonight? He, he, he got in the paint, but still went home with an L, man. That don't that don't matter. I know it's on the other side of the ball, but just another veteran, but Tim Patrick, just what, to, to see him have a night. Had a talk with him, lad. It's crazy. I, I talked to him. I don't know if it was earlier today or yesterday, man, in the uh, tubs, man, and you know he kind of envisioned it. <clears throat> you know he 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 you know he's a savvy vet, man. He come you know he come to work every day. You know he treat you know he take care of his body. You know his opportunity came tonight, and he took advantage of it. But Tim Patrick is a you know he he he's made plays in his in, in his league, so we don't expect nothing nothing less. You know I was you know I was just happy for him. You know we just I'm just happy that he part of his team.